Hey guys, Drew with Cooch Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we are going to the Dayton Coin Show up in Ohio. We just left the Shreveport or the Bossier City Coin Show, and we drove about eight hours last night. We're gonna drive five hours this morning. We're gonna get there when it opens, and we're gonna see what we find. But let's get this video started. We hope you guys enjoy. See, most dealers that are saying they only go to one coin show in a weekend, but we go to two coin shows in a weekend. One on the south side of the U.S., one on the north side of the U.S. And the reason being is because we need coins, lots of coins. If we can get a bunch of coins, offer them to you guys for a great price, that's our job. Our job is to find beautiful coins, coins that you might need for your collection, and put them on our website at kushcollectibles.com. Let's take you guys along for this journey. sponsored by them. When people say coin shows are dead, bro, it's literally a uh, full parking lot. Don't set it down. Sure, what did you I wanted to take a look at your 1918S. See what you might have on it. Asking seven. Hey, Matthew. Yeah, maybe some. Maybe. A pass on this one. You mind if I ask you about another one real fast? Just the 1835 right here in the CAC G. Home. When do we usually see you? You look familiar. You just last year, yeah. We just see you here. Yeah, I think about like 15 coins from you last year. Okay. At, yeah, so you were you passing through with you and uh, my brother. Yeah. yeah. You know what the best price would be on that 35, just to check? Or is that kind of your net price? Well, the CAC... Uh, Fancy stuff? The CAC holders, I think it is what it is on those. We, we, we got buried, different things happened, so we don't have really any room in those. Okay. So he's probably asking all the money. Probably retail price. Right. Thanks for showing me, brother. I appreciate yeah. it. I'll have to come back later when you guys are less busy. The other ones, though, are, you know, Not too bad. I just know, you know how sometimes, yeah, yeah. so we're just buried in the, in the four holders there. The fancy ones, yeah. I understand. Thanks, man. I'll keep looking around and then let you know later, okay? Appreciate it. Yeah. I don't know. we got to be on the same page. Yeah, yeah I know. We'll see. Yeah. 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 What's up, Drew? Hey. Hey, how are you? Very good, man. I watch your channel. Cool, man. Anything fun at the show yet for you? Uh, there's some things that caught my eye, like, you know, it's a, a nice, nice one. one. I brought some coins with me to try to buy and sell type of thing. Yeah, just kind of, you know, to see some local guys here. So, you know, last time that you were here, I actually seen you. I don't know if you remember me or not. You were standing yeah. over here. So, I think so. Yeah. yeah. You drive all over the place, man. You try to, try to come up as much as possible. I think it only weighs 100. 
Yeah. Huh? I don't, I don't know. I, don't, I like that necklace. <laughs> I know you like that necklace. He's playing with it a lot. Yeah. What are you What are you trying to find? You trying to what are you, what are you hunting? Steve, it catches your eye. Just deals, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna buy that 78 CC at the top, Michael. You do. Whenever you have time. Yep. Cool. Try to find something else. It's a nice original coin. Yeah. He's always good. easy sells. Yeah, nice cat buy. Who you sell that? Basically? Told to me. That's hilarious. I, saw, I was watching his videos. Smallest <laughs> world you've ever seen, right? That's funny. Yeah. I was watching his videos. I seen that he bought. I was like, I was thinking, I know a guy that has, has one. Yeah. The same one. Well, there's about three available uh, in the United States. It feels like, and uh, Michael have one, right? Yeah. Would you happen to have a best price on your HK, or is that your best yeah. price on on, on the HK? It's the uh, Gold Discovery Centennial. Yeah, it's got Right here. Yeah, this one? What would be your best price on that one? Well, being that's a graded one, well, I could do a little better. Okay. How, how close are you thinking of? I was hoping to be like 85. You do 85? Yeah. I'll take it. Okay. I'll bring you some cash. I have it out in the car. Is that okay? I'll come back in just a few minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that'll, work. yeah that'll work. All righty. Thank you so much. Hey, how are you doing, sir? Doing good? Not too bad. I'll see you. Hey, take care. Do you have a price on your uh, poor one, 16? 1600. I'll buy that. Okay. Can I ask also on your 93cc uh, what you might have on that as well? 510. Probably a pass on that one for me. And it's got a cock sticker on it too. Got the whole bells and whistles, you know? <laughs> Soon they'll be putting a new sticker on there for us, right? I got some cash out in the car, but I'm gonna I'm gonna come back and pay for that in just a few minutes, okay? Does that sound good? That sounds good. Alrighty, thank you so much. My favorite buy of the show so far. Okay. Little slim. You think? Bought a 16 quarter, and then I got some from him. So. No. Just to get the people that actually. Okay. Yeah, the G6. Yeah. Right over by the guy. We have the green buying sign. Uh, yeah. yeah, John. Yeah, not bad. It's always a good little show. Once a year, let some people yeah. save up for stuff. What cool, what coins yeah. do you bring to the show? Uh, yeah, I got some things here. These are my coins. So I had this one graded by this gentleman here. I think it was undergraded a little bit. Came back a, a 62. Not bad. And this right here was 63. But I appeal. You'd pick that one every time, wouldn't you think so? Or no? Yeah. Yeah, he put the stickers on there. Did he? Or did you do that? I did. Because I'm like, you'd like to show that. Hey, I man, what would you, you know, which one would you want to buy or I appeal? Oh uh, yeah, this one all day long. And look at the back of the reverse on that coin. It's just, it's beautiful. It's got some like, like see the glowing. Yeah. Do you think that would cap? A green bean, maybe a green bean. If I took that in. Possibly or no. Possibly or is it not a, not as good as you think it is. Yeah. I'm just trying to see if there's any wear on the on the face. Need this? Wow. <laughs> when you like angle it down, see, so look at it. When you angle it down, you see that rub right on the, yeah, on the cheek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they might like. If you sent this to CAC G, they call it 58. Because, because one person, one of them would say, okay, it's just weak strike or weak whatever, and one person goes, it's it's rub. And so it's, this one might be nicer looking with eye appeal. That one probably is numerically more fair. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. So. Now this one, this one got messed up. It's an SVDB, but they gave me an S designation. The VDBs on the back. So I have to send that one back out. Sucks. Hey, they I actually found that in a uh, five-gallon. I was just sitting through one. Yeah, so I got a. Some people spend a long time looking for that stuff. So we just kind of wrapped up at the Dayton show. Casey's going in there to check and see if there's any extra stuff. We bought about eight coins. We ended up running into uh, a collector. And you know we were gonna meet here and we're gonna send some stuff into CAC for him. And so we're gonna show you guys all the stuff that he wanted us to send to CAC, some cool things we bought from him. 
Uh, one downside, so you guys just watched, we bought a 16 quarter in there and pour one CAC for 1600 bucks. And I said, hey, I'm gonna be back. I just need to go get cash from the car because my brother has the cash and I had to meet with a collector. So I came back and he sold the coin from out underneath me. So I was here last year. I bought five or six coins from him. I bought five or six coins from the guys next to him. And uh, he just sold it out from underneath me. So I guess the question is, should you be upset if you're a coin dealer? Well, no, right? So we were out here talking to the collector, being nice to the collector, um, helping him out. He's sending in a lot of coins to CAC, and it was just a good time, right? So someone that honors their word, shows up to the show, wants to meet with us, wants to do business with us, sold us some things over somebody that sold a coin out from underneath us because we had to go get cash from the car. You know, I think the trade-off's worth it, right? So being upset by somebody that doesn't keep their word is just, you know, it's business. Get back to get back to the next deal. Get back to somebody that wants to value your money and your time. And so, got like I said, let's show you guys some of these coins that we ended up picking up at the show and show them some stuff that we actually bought from the collector as well. All right, guys, so here's most of everything that we got from the show. Let's show you these real quick. 1913S Barber Half. These Branch Mint Barber Halves are really collectible, especially in BF and XF. Nice, wholesome, original look. Then we have a few others that were in just a, just a bin sitting at the show, which is pretty cool. 19030 VF35. Another tough coin to run into. Uh, not the prettiest coin. There's kind of some little bit dark toning spots on the obverse, but... Like I said, if you can get the better dates, a lot of people are looking for these, and if you can offer them for a good price, that's even better. You know, this 1908D Barber Half, graded fine 15. A lot of these sell, you know, 10, 15, 20% over bid. We pay bid for these coins, which is good, and uh, the dealer was just really fair to us. Nice guy. We bought this 1877 Indian. I'm not gonna be able to video it too well here, just because these lights don't pick up too much on copper. But we try to buy 77 Indians when they're fair. We bought this one for $675. They sell for about $750 to $775. So once again, you have some room there, a little bit of spread. And if someone's looking for that coin, they can certainly buy it. We ended up buying that so-called dollar you guys saw. And I mean, look how cool this coin is. Love the design. I'm going to include just a description of why they made this dollar um, on the listing. But my favorite is the reverse. You got uh, just... A lady holding kind of a staff and I think there's a, a bear on top of it I don't know just a super cool you know well thought out designs for these so-called dollars and most of the time there's extremely affordable I mean this this one 66 I think they sell for 175 we bought this one for 85 It'll probably sell for like 120 something like that then we have an original 78 CC we bought from the first dealer that we got uh, when we walked in and uh, he's Really fair to us, really nice. 1905S, Barber Half and Fine 15. Just a decent date. Didn't have didn't have to pay too much for this one either. Paid bid for it. And then with the collector that we were sitting down with, this is a few of the Rattlers that we bought from him. He has a lot that he wants us to send to CAC. These are the ones we can show you and will be available on our website. 1921 Morgan, MS64, 1879, P Morgan dollar graded in Minstate state 62. All these we paid over bid for just because that's the right thing to do. Rattlers are becoming more and more expensive and you have to pay for them. Then we have this 1884 CC graded 65 PL. Uh, definitely a tough coin to find in a Rattler and demand a premium just because I guess people like to pay up for these coins and there's not a lot of those left in Rattlers in 65 PL. And then we have this 21S Morgan Dollar, graded Mint State 63. Just decent coins overall. Very happy with the show. And so let's see what else we can find. Let's start going to some shops. Oh we actually sell these for surprisingly $25 yeah. on the website. Surprising. No, dude, all day. I'm selling for $24 and they're, and they're buying hundreds of them. It's not a bad day for that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. All right, so yay. Yeah. What was the coolest thing you bought recently? We got a 18, we got a 20 cent piece proof, ungraded, cleaned, and we got a half dollar, 18 seated Liberty proof, cleaned, ungraded. It's not bad. Yeah. Um, 
it's hard to run at that just getting into the shop. Like a lot of shows, you can buy that. You just got to pay. But yeah. It's so hard to like find the customer and then. No, they come here. You know what I mean? Like we have a good reputation. Like we have a pretty solid reputation. I remember that gold piece you talked about that you're like, let's go, let's go have these on it. And I'm going to say, I don't know which one it was. The big, uh, the one that was like 60 grand or something a while back. What was it? What was the what was the thing? You're like they brought it in. You're like okay, there's like oh, yeah. 15 of these that exist or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. It didn't go halves. I went, I went. Uh, I said I take 30 percent. Or no, what did I take? It was. It ended up being. It ended up being like 15 percent or. No, I got I got 30. But I flew to Vegas on my dime. I got it graded on my dime. I did all the grade, and then I got it cacked on my dime. And then I then at the end of it, it was worth the book said sixty, and I got seventy. Yeah, because you that book throw the book out. Yeah, throw the book out when we're dealing in rarefied air, and uh, took, it took a year though, and I got I think I got I grossed about after all my expenses like sixteen or seventeen thousand. I paid for that. Yeah, I got the XRF gun for doing one on. Oh, you deal. you can go buy a Cadillac or something. <laughs> no, we don't. I have I drive an eleven year old Lexus. <laughs> I drive a Prius that so gets all the ladies. Yes, so that's what that's I, so I told Jessica today, and she's like, uh, "No, you have a Forerunner too. Drive the Forerunner around if you want to find a woman." Because <laughs> they all love Forerunners. Well, it's the yeah. It's just not a Prius. You're not driving on a skateboard. Do you want to talk to them about the screen? About the screen? Yeah. Oh yeah 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 yeah. We do that. Are you just, are you filming now? I filmed the whole time you've been talking. Oh, America. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you don't even have to jump in. You just act like you're, like you're No, I, you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah, you know, I was saying, if anybody ever gets a coin shop, what you really want to do is you want to, you want to, people thought I was crazy when I did this, but this is the one of the superpowers of Caracoin. We post our buy prices publicly. It's about, the margins are about, it's 85% on scrap gold. It's um, about that on everything else. Some of the other stuff, it's at like 99. But 85 is a lot. Wow. 85 is a ton. But, you know, I, we get a ton of volume because of it because we're giving a, a real value to our customers. And they can see with their own eyes, they can do the math backwards on their calculator, right. you know, how we do business. You know, and we get repeat customers. We get entire churches that refer us. And it's, um, you know, it, re it really is. It's, it's, it's um, and the crazy, the thing, when I first did that, I, two people in this business thought I was nuts. Right. They're like, you're going to kill your profit margin. That's, you know, he's like, if they know what they're doing, you pay them. If they don't, you lean on them a little bit. I'm like, no, nah, I don't think I'm going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to try this. And like, I'm telling you, people come in here just shopping their stuff and they end up selling it to us. It's volume and intensity is what I call it. You know, well, it, transparency, you know, and, and. Well, when you're transparent, you end up getting the volume and intensity that somebody that wasn't transparent gets. 100%. So you could buy, 100%. they could buy one and you could buy 10. Right. Based, based on a certain amount. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You know, and you know, we got to do a little more, you know, dancing to get our money. But uh, <laughs> you know, we uh, we we're doing okay. You know, we're doing all right. We're blessed. You know, we we get to we get to coming back and do it tomorrow. You know? Right. <laughs> do it tonight until tomorrow morning. Right? Yeah. You know, we get to. I'll see you here tomorrow. You yeah. Know, you got some. You got some cool stuff here, man. You got some cool stuff. Decent here. Decent stuff, man, for sure. Appreciate you giving you, me the opportunity. These are the calls you want. Yeah. And these we're just keeping. Just keeping if you want them. Uh, yeah. Okay. Keep them. <laughs> okay, America. <laughs> and you got and you could be picked up some of these uh, fine Morgan. Hey, tell, tell them what we got here, man. What okay. Got? What do we got? We got it. Uh, these are all Carson City Morgan dollars. Here, I'll turn them around. And. Um, you know, we had a few of these listed on eBay. A few of these were not. Um, you know, and the and, you know these are the prices that we came to transparently. You know, we just went through the gray sheet. They're about they're about dealer to dealer gray sheet. Some are a little below. Some are a little above. Um, you know, but you know, fair fair stuff with Akuja. They're, they're, you, these guys have always been good good by my book, and uh, you know. Basically, the dealer price on BUs, like basically the price that the the, the big boys would pay me is the price I'm giving them. Right. And uh, singles and doubles, you know. Yeah, for sure, singles and doubles. You know, move, move the get on base, baby. Get a walk. That's right. <laughs> okay. Got to pick up the bat. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's it. That's it. You know, and uh, yeah, that's the gig. I mean, I'm happy you guys came in town. I'm happy. With Happy you showed up, and we could do some fair work here. You want to throw me a card real quick, and let me yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for if sure. You ever, wh wh how well, far should someone drive to, 
to work with you. Bubba, you should get in your car right now in California and head here. I'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Um, no, <laughs> Caracoin is an experience, baby. No, I, I, I feel like we're one, of, we're, we're one of the fairest, most fun, honest coin shops there are out here. And, you know, we, we, we all love it. Everybody, yeah. everybody in here is a coin nerd. You know, we end up buying a lot of jewelry. We end up doing a lot of stuff. But every person that I employ loves coins, loves, you know, either their father instilled it in them or they just found it and just grabbed onto it. But, you know, and everybody's got a little bit of a different specialty, too, right. you know, like um, it's so, you know, we kind of all kind of mesh together. And, uh, yeah, it's dude, I, I didn't always do this for a living. I was finding jobs for like machinists and welders and, you know, I was a recruiter, you know, kind of like a commissioned social worker. This is so much fun. I can't wait to do it tomorrow. For sure. Yeah, but thanks for helping us out, brother. I appreciate no, man, the deal. Appreciate you, yes, my man. Appreciate you. Thanks for coming by. Yes, sir. Yes, nice of weather is bringing everybody out. My buddy, his nickname is Little John, and he is a really short guy. But anyway, <laughs> he has a blown fuel injected 427 1956 Chevy. Oh, yeah. It is so sweet. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice day for that outside. I guess, you know, those car guys, they all sit, hang out like. like yeah, a lot of people held on to them because they were kind of interesting, but they're, they're not really worth anything. Right. Yeah. All right. They're collectible, though. Yeah. I mean, you can call for any pricing. And then I will get out of your way. Couple on uh, one. Thank you. Big, thank big you roller. again to everyone. Including you, sir. Yes, sir. Happy to be your bodyguard for a little bit. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> wow. He's like, wow, I'm the treat like this very guns? often, man. <laughs> no, I got, I got oh, plenty of guns. Got, I had the strangest dream that I had. I cut a guy's throat in here the other day. He came in trying to rob, and I was hiding behind the oh. counter and I come around and, <laughs> and well, yeah I mean that, that'd be great you know I have my pheasants forever browning knife that's nice yeah it is a nice little knife can't go wrong with enough knives and guns you know oh well we won't go there but uh, <laughs> I probably have over a hundred, yeah. My favorite is my uh, Weatherby 300 mag. Yeah, we, uh, we ran into a guy that did uh, concealed handgun training, and he's like, yeah, my family's left me 500 acres. I have, we have about 1,500 guns. Oh, my God. Well, I don't know where he puts I them sold quite a few, but, yeah. As long as people know what they're doing, I don't mind him owning guns. It's right. The idiots just out, like you know, yeah. shooting up happy. nothing, you know. People that shouldn't have me. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Good. Yes, ma'am. And trust me, there's plenty of them out. Do you know what uh, you need in the low serial number from 1963? The star note down there? The low serial number. Oh, this little guy. Mm. Uh, I will get you a prize. Sam. Stuff like that in the bag. Yeah, just gotta find the right guy. You know? Yeah, exactly. Nine hundred. Yeah, I had to ask. The last one sold for like four oh eight. So four oh eight. No, oh, it's stacks. Oh, okay. That's what I was wondering. What was it numbered? Sixty one. Sixty one. November. Four oh eight. Okay. Just that when you do G gray sheet and then the FR number online, it'll just give you all those. So. Oh. That was the yeah. same grade, right? 6060 60 PQ. They, they did have silver and what's the same for us? <laughs> <laughs> it tells me. It happens. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. Sometimes like things work and sometimes things don't work. Yeah, it happens. I wonder what the like the like how the age of most graders is probably. Yeah, like 75. Oh. 60. Something. So can we trust their eyes? 
I mean, you can, but you can't. The younger yeah. eyes aren't, you know, seasoned, I guess, with all that extra. That's true. Yeah, exactly. All that extra dust from all those coin shows. Yeah. <laughs> From what I heard, they're in a dark room looking at these coins, right? Yeah, under a grating lamp. Yeah. You just... yeah it's got to be a immense strain on your, your eyes. Man. Yeah, just think of it as an extra opinion, I guess. It was last week, I think, I woke up at 1.30, and I sat in bed a half hour, hour, and I couldn't go see much twilight. So I went downstairs. For the coins! Sort of in my bed. Until 7.30 in the morning, I got ready and came to work. <laughs> what kind of life is that? Sorting Indian head pennies in the middle of the night. <laughs> Question everything, you know. Like I mean, it was pretty nice. It was just me and my office. Me and the pennies. <laughs> kind of odd, though. I know you guys have a whatever. Uh, Prius. Oh, yeah. you have a Prius and then you have a Ford one, right? Yeah. Yeah. All the chicks dig the Priuses, so. Oh, yeah, 100%. I think they might like the Ford one a little bit more. To be <laughs> 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 Asking from a lady. I yes. personally want a Ford one. We've been sitting asleep for 21. East style. Okay. Mm -hmm. I found a 23 in there. Do we have a mini girls? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, let's show you what we got from Ohio Estates. First thing is this Black Eagle Note. And it's graded uh, PCGS XF45 PPQ. It has some pedigree, but probably isn't really worth adding onto. Uh, so when we ch took a look at this note, uh, I think one in XF just sold for about 400 bucks. This one's XF45 PPQ. So there's something to be made on this note for sure. And uh, very happy with that. Here's something you don't see every day that we, don't, we get to pick up and offer to you guys. So these were uh, basically the World's Columbian Expo uh, tickets to get into the expo. And don't know a whole lot about these, still have to do my research and look into them, but we thought the prices were fair from Ohio States, and uh, they were just really nice looking things that we wanted to try out. And like I said, we see most of these when they're super circulated or have a bunch of issues. This one, uh, exceptional paper quality, love Lincoln on there as well. And then we have uh, the classic design for the Columbian, right on the obverse of this note, 64 EPQ and uh, just really beautiful. And when you take a look at the top, which is interesting, if I can get it to right above kind of the design, it says paper patented in March, I think 3rd, 1891. So love the colors, love the design, and so happy to be able to offer it to you guys. Then we got some raw coins, so not gonna spend too much time, but we had a little good mixture, so we had a nice 1853 large scent. We ended up getting also this uh, 8 Real 1783. This one is like a shipwreck, so I think this is something that they missed out on. This one uh, might have come from a shipwreck, maybe the El Cazador shipwreck. We ended up selling one of these graded about a week and a half ago for 175, and we bought this one for a pretty good price, and we sold that one to a customer. 1874 8 Real. I forgot the mint. I think it's a uh, Guadalajara, uh, no, nope, someone's going to have to comment. What is the mint of this 1874 8 Real? If I mess it up, then that's, uh, then it's going to be the comments, right? Then we have this 1921 High Relief. We bought this one for 115 They sell for about 135 150 And uh, might offer some rock coins this video on the website just so you guys can take a look at them. Maybe if you guys want to pick them up. We release all the uh, issues that a coin might have when we put them on there. So that's something for you to consider. If there's a rim bump, a scratch, whatever. Uh, and so we have some more cheap stuff we got from them. 43D Steel Scent. Bought it for 10 bucks. These sell anywhere between 15 and 20 bucks, which is good. Bought some cheap slabs. 1912 Barber Half. And, uh, you know, just things that you'll make 10, 15 bucks on, singles and doubles. Most of the time, we're not talking home runs here. We're just talking about filling up an order and uh, making sure that we offer you guys some cool things. 1942 over one Mercury Dime, rated right VF30. This one was offered to us for 475 A lot of these sell for about 550 So there's profit to be made on this coin. Nice original looking coin. And, uh, yeah, that's about everything we got from Ohio State's. I mean, they're, they're the best. Really good to work with. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts on just the interactions we had at the coin show, at the coin shops. 
Do you love these people? I mean, we love Ohio State. So we love Carrot Coin. It was unfortunate what happened at the Coin Show, but that's okay. Make sure to subscribe. More videos coming out every single week. We want you guys to be a part. We'll see you guys next time.